Hey, it's Greg Grunberg, and you are watching Spectre Sound Studios at light speed, apparently. Um, tell us a little bit about what you're doing here. So here, you're, you're a musician and a voiceover guy. Yeah, voiceover, actor, but musician for charity mainly. Um, Fantastic. Yeah, I have a thing called Band From TV. Okay. And if you can go to Band From TV, it's not B-A-N-N-E-D, mm. it's B-A-N-D. Okay. Uh, from TV.org, and you'll see it's stars of, of TV shows, and we each have a charity that we represent. We've been doing it for 10 years, raised millions of dollars for our charities, and it's, uh, it's really great that we get the support of a lot of these companies that love what we're doing, and we have a spot in North Hollywood, which is a really cool spot for bands to showcase and stuff, and it's our rehearsal space when it's not being used for shooting. Um, but it's my building, and, and I just, you know, I love coming to something like this for companies that really care about giving back and supporting stuff like what we're doing. That's absolutely fantastic, man. Yeah. That's, that's absolutely amazing. So what do you play? I play the drums. I'm a DW guy. Really? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Same here. Oh, you are? Yeah. Well, really? I'm, no, I'm not a drummer. I am a DW guy. He's the drummer. Oh, you're the drummer. Yeah, yeah. Garrison hooks me up. Chris, those guys are the best. And uh, I love them. And they, they've been supporting me for, for uh, us, Band From TV, for a long, long time. So whenever NAM's happy, we used to play. We played that, you know, they have a, a show at the end of NAM. You come out and do yep. the thing. We, we played that a couple of years ago. Was it two years ago? Um, which was really intimidating because all the professional musicians were there and we're just a bunch of actors going, oh shit. But we, we play covers and we have a lot of fun. And one thing we learned that day, and they kept saying it year after year, they're like, you have to come down. No one's going to be critical. This is music. Music brings people together. And that was an example of it for us, for sure. We knew it, but no one was judgmental. And it was just awesome. And so it was really cool. Yeah. Fantastic, man. Well, thank you so much for, uh, thank for you. making an appearance, man. I really yeah, appreciate yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, Let me uh, showcase my buddy over here, Nick Marzok. Hey. Nick, get in here. Hi, up, Hi Nick. Glad Hi, I'm Nick. Nice, nice to meet you, man. Uh, Thanks, Nick brother. plays with the band. Guys. Okay, fantastic. But he's an unbelievable singer-songwriter, musician. Like, crazy. Like, Thanks, the man. best in the world. <laughs> Is anybody else watching, <laughs> listening? <laughs> And he uses Lewitt mics. By the way, Lewitt has been a supporter of ours forever. And and that's not why we decided to go with Lewitt. Lewitt mics are the best. I mean, they really are amazing. I do them I use for the voiceover work that I do as well. But uh, and a little plug for Lewitt. But uh, yeah, Nick's amazing. Nick Marzok. Thank you. Nick Marzok. Here with Roman Persian from Lewitt Microphones. Um, I'm just checking out the brand new interviewer mic. This is an Omni, isn't it? Yes, that's correct. Okay, and I gotta say this thing's really cool. They gave me this cool flag and whatnot, but it's really light. And I like that. It's it's just got a nice grip. It's really comfortable and to hold, but the great thing is I don't have to keep moving it back and forth. I can just hold it here in place and the levels are halfway decent. Yes, indeed. It's uh, um, designed to fit perfectly to ENG, electronic news gathering, all kind of interviewing situations. It therefore has an uh, omnidirectional dynamic capsule, so you don't need phantom power. It's very insensitive uh, against wind and pop noises. No kidding. We, yes, indeed. Okay, uh, we also have a, a special uh, membrane uh, on top to protect against uh, plosives. Um, cool. So you can go P and D and it's not going to crap out. Yes, on. correct. Fantastic. Yeah. And more of that is uh, we have what we call uh, whisper coating. Okay. It's a special uh, surface finish so uh, you don't cause um, uh, uh, structure born noise by rubbing your hands or fingernails. But So tell me all about Lewitt Audio. When did you guys get started and why? Uh, we are a fairly young company. We got started uh, in 2010. We had our debut at the NAM show. Um, Actually, 2010, so you guys are really young. Yes, indeed, indeed, yeah. Okay, and um, I got we've got our very good friend Warren Hewitt just off camera there, and uh, Warren, you guys have seen him on the show and whatnot, and uh, he turned me on to Lou at Mike's. He's saying that your drum package is like absolutely spectacular. Yeah, they are. They and are. I'm going to be demoing a set real soon on the show. I can't wait to try them out because I'm all about the live drums and checking out new things. And your what? How much does your drum mic package go for? Oh, there's two different packages. Um, there is uh, seven-piece packages where we have um, um, true condenser pencil mics, uh, uh, three uh, dynamic uh, snare drum mics, uh, a tom mic, and uh, a kick drum mic, which is a very special one, a dual it's element. It's that dual capsule one. Yes, yeah, I was correct. checking that out. That looked really And cool. uh, if I'm not mistaken, it sells in the US for 1699. 1699, okay, but that's a complete package, and that'll go up against the best out there. Yes, correct. And, and it's, as you guys are saying, it's a very modern sound? Yeah, indeed, indeed. And also it's a very flexible and uh, cutting edge set of the art feature set it provides. Okay, cool. So you have a, a dual capsule output on the kick drum microphone. You have uh, three types of uh, EQ, EQ settings. 
so it's really, you don't get only one microphone, you get plenty of sound. Well, the, I was looking at it, I'm like, I want to try this thing on a snare drum, because I'm usually using dual capsules okay. on a snare. I've usually got a 57 in a small pencil condenser, so I'm thinking, you know what, yeah, maybe we can fit this in, you know, yeah, that might work. Especially with the pre-emphasis and the pads and everything there, that, that might work really well. Oh, definitely, yeah, yeah. You guys have something else that's really cool, you guys have like a, um, a microphone where you can change the polar pattern in post what's that all about yeah that is uh, one of our recent offsprings of the LCD series it's a large condenser microphone and uh, as you say it has a very special feature it's multi pattern but you don't need to set the polar pattern prior to the recording you can set it afterwards in post-production settings that's amazing yes it comes with a, a polarizer plugin um, and with this plugin, it makes it very easy for uh, the sound engineer to adjust uh, the polar pattern dynamically and programmable. Fantastic. Now, that's something I really want to check out somewhere down the yeah. road. But uh, we'll see what happens this year. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, it's, it's wonderful to meet you oh, guys. my pleasure. Thanks. Uh, nice thank you so you. much. Thank you so much for the interview, Mike. This is going to come in real handy this week because I'm going to be all over the NAM floor with this thing. It's, it's really light. I love the fact the portability of it. That's the first thing I noticed. So, yeah, fantastic, man. And again, I can't wait to try out the drum mics because I am all about live drums. Uh, hanging out here with Justin Stadig, who was my original contact at Broadband Television like two years ago uh, when I was first starting out. <laughs> Anyway, how's it going, Justin? How you been? Good, Good to see man. You. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, like, this is the first time we've actually met. We just had a lot of Skype conversations over the years. Yeah. So, um, so what are you doing at GraphTech, and why should anybody care? Cool. Okay. So we're the largest nut and saddle manufacturer in the world. The main thing that we're showing a lot of people today, we've got our Ghost Piezo system in there. Oh, really? Those really? are so yes. those are pickups. So that is our acoustophonic. So that's you know get your electric guitar to sound like an acoustic. Now, I have no need for that because yeah. I don't play an acoustic. What's the coolest thing is just having it blend in with your mags. So, you know, you've got, now bear with me, I'm a lefty and this is set up right handed. So, not the best setup. <laughs> just getting the acoustic frequency right I mean okay. electric guitar mags are gonna the frequency responses like this acoustics are like that so you're just blending it in there with that so it's really cool to just get some different accentuations on you know the whole range and just better more different tones <laughs> cool so tell me about the bridges though you're saying they're string saver saddles yeah That's so all. it's the same material as our nuts and except it's got Teflon built into it a lot of our you know our permanently lubricated nuts that's what she said. Um, have Teflon. No, she didn't. <laughs> Phrasing. So they've got Teflon infused in them. So it's permanently lubricated. You don't have to keep going in there with the pencil to stop string binding. Oh, because that's a nightmare in the studio. I mean, like, I'm, I'm there with, you know, like a little little tub of lube and, you know, yeah. just getting in there and because this, you know, tuning some guitars is just a fucking nightmare. Oh, yeah, exactly. So our string saver saddles are the same thing and you just stop breaking the strings. Like I beat the ever loving shit out of my guitar. And I threw them on my telly, and I just, you cannot break strings. Excellent. At, at the bridge, anyway. If you're still going at it with rage blades up here, obviously that's going to happen. Sure. But other thing that we're showing off is our ratio tune machine heads. So since the beginning of time, all gears in the tuners have been the exact same. So every string reacts differently, and, you know, your G string goes out of whack all the time. Your E string is super sensitive. But now they all react the exact same. It's half a turn is a half tone across every single string. And they also come in locking, open back for acoustic. We do also acoustic sets. So do you do seven string sets? We do do seven string sets. What about eight string sets? We do do eight string sets. See, now this is the stuff my, the, the people yes. watching the show want to know. Actually, okay. Frank uh, from Zerber's Guitars, he's, okay. he's going to be showing a lot of stuff at NAMM. He, I put together a few seven string and eight string sets, locking. Now, we just we don't have them pre-assembled, but if you contact us or whatever, we can do a seven string or eight string. And um, another cool thing is that they come with four sets of mounting plates. Okay. So you don't have to do any drilling or filling or anything like that. If you've got, you know, a Fender, a Squire, a Gibson, Epiphone, whatever, there will be a plate in the box. So it just sits right in there, adheres to the screw configuration that's there. These just clip right on and then you just cinch down the nut. It takes about as much time as swip swapping out strings. Okay, very cool. I definitely want to check these out. Yeah, man.
that anything that makes it makes uh, the whole tuning process easier is a good thing in my idea. I don't know how much time I've wasted in the studio tuning guitar, you know, dealing with nut issues, just trying to yeah. get the damn thing to stay in tune. You know, it's a great big pain in the ass. Yeah. And so, I mean, especially with like a polyphonic tuner, you just crank that on, hit all the strings, and you're like, oh, that string and that string are out two cents. And then after, you know, you kind of get used to them, you just go, oh, okay, that's half this, half that. There you go, done. It takes all the thinking out, so then you can just get back to sounding bad on the guitar. I am here with Wayne Reed from Otherworld Computing. How's it going, Wayne? It's going great, thanks. Okay, and uh, what do you guys do? We basically manufacture technology that either extends or enhances the life of a MacBook or a Mac system or in PC um, systems as well. Okay, very cool. Like you were telling me something about uh, ports and whatnot. Well, that's all. What's that all about? Yeah, what we're seeing a lot of trends where ports are being taken away from users. So if you're someone who has a lot of different connected devices in your basement um, or in your office, and all of a sudden your new laptop doesn't, you know, isn't able to connect to those things, what do you do? Um, you either can replace all that technology, or basically you have a port solution, which is what we've been developing, a dock solution, which takes one port and makes 10 ports out of it, or take, makes 12 ports out of it. So it brings back some of that legacy connectivity you require in your workspace. That's fantastic. Now, he was showing me a really cool piece of technology here. This is a micro SSD. Yeah, this is an Envoy Pro Mini. So basically, in this device, you can actually have up to a half a terabyte of data stored. Um, and it's really exciting. A lot of people in the professional world will use it for either recording on location where they can actually have a fast enough performance where they can actually edit their project on, for directly from this drive. Yeah, that is, that is unbelievable. Just Now, they're not exactly cheap, so the trick is don't lose it. <laughs> well, I think everything we build is basically manufactured to last. So you can be pretty rough with this stick and you're going to be okay, but yeah, obviously if you drop it into the water, you're going to have a challenge. Well, or just don't leave it, you know, on the toilet seat or something. Exactly. You know? So this is a bus powered dual drive um, storage solution. So basically it operates at 3.1 Gen 2, so it's 10 gigab gigabits per second, and you have two SSDs in here. So actually uh, you can sit there and take this on location, take it into the field, take it to a studio, and record your stuff on here, and know you're going to be in good shape, it'll be fast, it's nice and secure. And very lightweight, i got to say. Yeah. That, that You can definitely get that into your backpack. Yeah. Anyway, thanks, Wayne. Thanks for uh, taking time thanks, to show man. us what you guys Appreciate are up to. It. You guys going to be at NAMM? Yeah, we have a booth in, right in Hall B. Okay, we'll see you on the floor. All right, take care, man. Take care. Good luck. Thanks a lot. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching this episode. If you like the content, please support the channel either at my SMG shop or through my Patreon. If you want to see more, hit one of the playlists. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here.